Definition is that two copies of a gene separate from each other during gamete formation. Obviously, I am paraphrasing in this because Mendel didn't really know much about, uh, well, he knew about gametes, but he didn't really know much about DNA. So what I mean, what his, the actual, like, literal definition of what he says was that, I'm going to write, this is the literal, this is the my version of it, is that during transmission from parent to offspring, that we have gamete formation is, is what it was. So whenever I put this, I, I want you to understand that I'm paraphrasing for this. I probably should, I'll do these in white to show that that's what I mean. But in this, he says... So what I mean whenever I'm saying this, just to clarify that this, okay, so the law of segregation is where the, in definition is where the two copies of a gene separate from each other during gamete formation. Now, Gregor Mendel didn't know uh, much about DNA. He didn't know much about haploid, diploid cells. All that he knew was that there was an observation that he could make. So the actual law states that two copies of a gene, which he gave as units of hereditary, separate from each other during transmission from parent to offspring. Now, what this was, what this transmission from parent to offspring meant by that is that gamete formation. So anytime you see this type of terminology use, know that that's what he's talking about, but what we're really implying here is gamete form formation. So the, uh, the, the way that we could observe this, how he, I guess, gave evidence was that he had a ratio on dihybrid crosses. So he took two pure breeding plants, what do you do? You know the story of this. I'm not going to stress that in much detail, was that it was a three to one on a heterozygous cross. So every time he did this, he always got a three to one ratio. And that's what this first law of segregation says.